Hi, this is Dr. Nikki and I'm back and we're going to be talking about more activities to teach first grade fluency, which is fluency through 10. Okay, um, we are back and we're talking about ways to build fluency through 10 in first grade. The Common Core State Standard fluency is through 10 in first grade and here are a couple of games that you can play with your kids. One is, it's a version of domino parking lot, but this time you're taking the dominoes and what you're actually doing is sorting them. So you're looking for dominoes that make 10. Anything else doesn't go, you can't go in the parking lot unless you're a plus zero fact, a plus one fact, a plus two fact, a plus three fact, or you make five or you make 10. So four plus two is six, can't go in the parking lot. Six plus five is 11, it can't go in the parking lot. You can have different parking lots where these could definitely go, but in this parking lot, they can't go. Um, five plus one can't go in the parking lot. Four plus three can't go in the parking lot. Oh, yes it can, because four plus three is a plus three fact. It's also a doubles plus one fact, but it's a plus three fact in that you're just adding three more. You start at four and you count on three more. Remember, counting on is one of the strategies you want your kids to have. So that's why I have plus one and plus two and plus three. They should know whenever I see plus one, plus two, plus three, I'm just gonna count on. So I'm at four and then I add on three. Five, six, seven, right? Um, I am, here's a plus three fact. I'm at five and then I just count on six, seven, eight, right? And here is a make 10 fact, six plus four. Um, here is, this is a four plus four, so it can't go in the parking lot. Five plus one, this is a plus one fact. Five, one more is six. This is a plus three fact. It's also a doubles fact, so um, three plus three is six, it's a doubles fact, but it's also a plus three fact that could just count on three, four, five, six. All right, so that's how you play Domino Parking Lot, this upper grade version, um, the first grade version. A six plus one, if it's a plus one fact, I just count on. So that's Domino Parking Lot, uh, one of the games that you want to have uh, your kids play to build fluency. Now, another thing you want your kids to do is do number bonds. Number bonds is actually a um, model that is mentioned in the Common Core, and we don't do number bonds in most programs. But the way you do number bonds is I get these little mini cards. These cards come from Oriental Trading Company, and the kids pick a card, and so then they get a number, six and eight. So they put that in there, six and eight, and they have to say, what goes here that they're, that's what they're adding right so these are the number bonds this is what makes a number right so 10 and 6 they put 10 here they put 6 here and they can put the number bonds in different places right so I mean they can put the cards in different places so maybe they say I'm gonna make um, I'm, if I pick two cards I'm gonna pick 6 and 9 I'm gonna have 6 here and then I'm gonna put the bigger number here so 6 plus what is going to equal nine, right? So you can do lots of different things, but these are called number bonds, and you can you can do them this way, or you can have them turned this way as well. So if we looked at, um, here's a number bond. Right, you could have 15, and how does that break out into 10 and five is one way, but we could also have 15, and it could be seven, and eight. So you could have an anchor number and have the kids build what kinds of number bonds are going to be all the way around. Um, now, another game you can play is sort, right? So this is roll and sort. So the kids roll the dice and they get, I got five plus five and that's 10. So yay. And I write the expression right there, five plus five, right? Remember, kids are supposed to be exposed to expressions and equations. Uh, two plus two is four, and that's under, so I write it here, because we're looking at the 10 sort. Now I roll another fact. Four plus one is five, so I write it here, four plus one. Right, so I'm either gonna get under, or I'm gonna get 10, or I'm gonna get over. And they, you can play, the kids can play this by themselves, or they can play it with a partner. Um, they certainly can play it, um, you know, in a group. It, it doesn't matter, it's just a fun game, and it gets them to sort their facts. Now, another game the kids can play, again, sorting facts, is you take flashcards, but instead of counting the kids just say the answer, they have to sort it. Oh, seven plus zero, that's a zero fact. 
zero plus eight, that's a zero fact. Two plus three, that's a count on fact. Four plus six, that's a plus 10 fact. Three plus two, that's a count on fact. I'm just gonna start at three and count on. Eight plus two, I should know that. That makes 10. So I have the kids actually sort the cards. Sometimes I'll give them a mat and it'll say, does it make 10, is it a plus one, is it a you know plus zero, just like in the domino parking lot. And the last game I play with the kids is how many to 10? And I use Uno cards because I love Uno cards because they're colorful. So the kids pick cards, say I pick two, and I have to put that down. And I have to think, how many hmm, do I need to get to 10? I need eight to get to 10 here, okay? Uh, and then pick another Uno card, four, okay? So I say, hmm, I have four. How many to get to 10? I need six. That's how many I need to get to 10. And they can use number lines to help them because you have some kids that don't know what it is. And so if they use number lines, they roll, I got two, how many to 10? And then they count on. I got six, how many to 10? But it's a how many to 10 game. So remember, in first grade, fluency through 10 is the Common Core State Standard. And as always, happy mathing.